Kenya Medical Training College in Maua, Meru County, is set to admit its first batch of 200 students in March. This follows approval of the facility by the National Board of Directors. The board chairman, Professor Philip Kaloki, says another intake of 200 students will be done in September this year. Construction of the Kenya Medical Training College in Maua, Meru County, is almost complete, and the institution will be reopening its doors soon. National Board Chairman Professor Philip Kaloki revealed the first intake of 200 students will report in March. Tumekubaliana vile tumeona kazi mzuri sana hapa ikiendelea. Tumeona madarasa zimejengwa. Tumeona library imekamilika. Tumeona computer lab administration block ambao iko nyuma yangu vile imesimama. Na kwa kweli ile kazi inaendelea hapa ni ya juu sana the quality of works. Professor Kaloki urged the locals to take advantage of the institution, which is the only one of its kind in Igembe South constituency. Pia wale wana manyumba hapa, walimuetu wataka hapa, wanafunzi, watanunua mboga na chakula hapa. Kwa hifo, ekonomi ya mawa pia itaimarika. Kwa hifo, hii college italete manufaa kuba sana katika hii sehemu ya meru. Professor Kaloki's sentiments were echoed by area member of parliament John Paul Mwirigi, who said parents from the region will have an added advantage of 40% of the students' intake will come from qualified locals. Tuanze kutayarisha watoto wetu wale ambao wanafaa kujiunga na na chuo hiki ili waweze mwezi wa tatu kuanza kuja ili waanze masomo yao hapa. Students apply online and they get uh, admission status online, meaning hakuna watu hapo katikati. As long as the student amepata uh, the grades, ya ile course ana apply, anatumiwa barua online kwa ile email account abayo ya ya mwenyewe amefungua. Meru County government allocated 10 million shillings in the current financial year to boost the construction of Maua KMTC campus, which is also being funded by Gembe South CDF funds. The campus becomes the fourth KMTC campus in Meru County. Ben Chumba, reporting for Channel 1 News.